young man. There's no need to feel down. I said, young man. Put yourself off the ground. I said, young man. Cause you're in a new town. There's no need to be unhappy. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, here, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man. So Nancy Pelosi has been gaslighting us for the last, what, four or five years now? And now she finally admits it. She's the one who's been pulling the strings on Joe Biden's uh, uh, exit out of the presidency. Now, she's been saying that he's the greatest in sliced bread. He's this, he's that. He has knowledge of the issues. He has strategic thinking about legislating mm -hmm. all in the head. We see Joe Biden up close. We know how uh, attuned he is to the issues, how informed he is. And I debate with him about uh, legislation and the, not debate, but discuss it with him. He's right there. This is the same Nancy Pelosi who just a few weeks ago says Joe Biden is so good that we need to put him on Mount Rushmore. A good place to make whatever decision, the top of his game, such a consequential president of the United States, a Mount Rushmore kind of president of the United States. Are want to really know what comes next. That he belongs up there on Mount Rushmore. Lincoln and Joe Biden. But you got Teddy Roosevelt up there and he's wonderful. I don't say take him down, but you can add Biden. And now here she is on his podcast with the knives out saying that Joe Biden, she was not impressed by Joe Biden's presidency. I love him so much. I think he's been a, really a fantastic president of the United States. So I really wanted him to make a decision of a better campaign because they were not facing the fact of what was happening. Just a little it, background. It was, it was I've never been pain. that impressed with his political operation. Biden's operation. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I just hadn't been. Uh, they won the White House Bravo. Right. Mm -hmm. But so my concern was this ain't happening. And we have to make a decision mm -hmm. for us this to happen. And the president has to make the decision for that to happen. Let me just say, I, I won't say necessarily I knew what I was doing at that time. I knew what I was doing in the whole thing, not just that and what show. Was, and what was that? That Donald Trump would never set foot in the White House again. And there she goes, finally admit it was her and Obama putting pressure on Biden to step out the race. And we got Biden here, in his own words, saying the same thing. Look, um, the polls we had showed that it was neck and neck race. would have been down to the wire. But what happened was uh, a number of my Democratic colleagues in the House and Senate thought that I was going to hurt them in the races. And I was concerned if I stayed in the race, that would be the topic. You'd be interviewing me about why did Nancy Pelosi say, why did so, and, uh, and I thought it would be a real distraction. Now, remember when Joe Biden was on Joe Scarborough, he phoned it in, and he's talking about the elites. Come with me. Watch. Watch. I'm getting so frustrated by, by the elites. Now, I'm not talking about you guys, but about the elite in the party who they know so much more. Now, we were talking about Joe Biden's letter with no official White House header, the signature looking bad. And now we have Nancy Pelosi trying to say the letter didn't look right to her and all this. This is all a hot mess. I didn't accept the letter as 
anything but a letter. I mean, I mean, and another, there are some people who were unhappy with the letter. Let me say, that some said that some people were unhappy with the letter. I'll put it in somebody else's now because it was a. I don't even. Know, it didn't sound like Joe Biden to me. It really didn't. So this has all been a scam, a sham. We all jokingly saying Joe Biden is a puppet and is a puppet master. It's all clear now. It's all clear. Even when Joe Biden would come out on the podium, he got the teleprompters telling him what to say. His tweets, somebody's tweeting for him. It's not him. Unlike Joe, uh, unlike uh, Donald Trump, Donald Trump is the one tweeting his own account. Biden can't keep up. We all see that he was a puppet. And now they removed that puppet and they got this one here. Yes, I created a gun policy. Some people ask me why, because there'd never been a gun policy. Why do we need a gun policy? I said, well, guns kill. <laughs> so, <laughs> so these are the things we did. The cackling Kamala. Copycat Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> now this is funny absolutely hilarious 84 year old Nancy Pelosi still running things we keep talking about Joe Biden's 81 and he's too old yet Nancy Pelosi is still running things out here well it's the first bill the first bill uh, that protect uh, uh, our uh, uh, assault our uh, bill COVID. shots in the yeah. arm Money in the pockets, children in school, people at work, the infrastructure bill, building, building in a way that is respectful of communities, pe chips and science. Don't, have you don't. spoken to President Biden since he no, dropped out? No, I have not. Do you hope to? Yes, when, I hope to. Yeah. We're all busy. Is, that, is everything is okay with your relationship? You'd have to ask him, but I hope okay. so. Okay. But he knows. Uh, look. I have loved Joe Biden, respected him for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. We have, I was a party chair in California, then I became member of Congress, and then one thing, other housewife, house member, house speaker, working with him all along. I think he has made one of the biggest contributions to our country. Nancy Pelosi is a boss. <laughs> and nobody's going to believe a word I said, especially these voters here. Why are y'all voting for Kamala Harris? I don't want to lose my rights. Like, I'm a trans man and I'm gay and I have been pregnant and I've had an abortion before and I don't want to lose that. I'm afraid of not being able to be myself anymore because from what I've heard, Trump's America doesn't want me to look like this. Before I was a minor and it would have been dangerous for me to properly, like, it would have been dangerous for me to carry a baby with, like, personal reasons and everything. Um, I also, like... I'm very, you know, alternative. alternative, and I feel like if Trump were to win, I wouldn't be able to, like, express myself through my looks and everything. And he thinks that uh, Kamala's going to ruin the country, but I think that Trump would do worse, like, a lot. Like, Kamala is going to be good for the country. Yeah, man, we are in big trouble if Kamala wins, because Nancy Pelosi is still going to run this show. And kiss our ass goodbye. If this woman... If Kamala wins this office, we are in big trouble. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> Go, girl. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you puppet masters, get off my lawn. <laughs>